Ready to go. Muscles of the trunk. Okay. Let's start. We can see a little bit up here. Here's the trapezius. Okay. Trapezius extends and rotates the neck. It elevates the scapula, retracts the scapula. Trapezius. That's the most, most superficial. Latissimus dorsi. Wraps around and actually moves the, the arm at the shoulder. It extends, adducts, and internally rotates the shoulder. Latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi inserts into the thoracolumbar fascia, as does the gluteus. Okay, that's this flat tendon. Peel that off. Peel that off. This is what you see. Rhomboid minor, rhomboid major. Okay. They retract the scapula, so they pull the scapula towards the midline. Retraction, scapula. Here you can see the muscles of the rotator cuff. We'll get to that in a moment. Okay. Here you see splenius capitis, semispinalis capitis. Both extend and rotate the neck. You can see a little bit of the levator scapula here. Elevates the scapula. If we peel this off, you'd be down here. This is the erector spinae group. It runs from here all the way down to here. This is just a small part of it. The erector spinae group is uh, nine muscles in that group. And we're just referring to this as simply erector spinae group. Keeps the spine erect, helps with extension of the back, also helps with flexion of the spine. This is called the serratus, because it has a serrated edge. Serratus posterior inferior. Serratus posterior inferior. There's a serratus posterior superior, but it's underneath here. Can't see it. As you can see, it attaches to the ribs. It's going to depress, pulls the ribs down during exhalation, breathing out. Serratus posterior inferior. That's pretty much what we see here on the back. There's your rotator cuff. There's your supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, teres major. If you pull the arm off, do a tricky operation here. Okay. Subscapularis. Subscapularis. Underneath. Underneath the scapula. I would just, oh my God. Oh my Lord, what are we doing to the poor guy? <laughs> the back scratcher muscle, right? Okay, and so that's pretty much what's going on there. Then you have what's happening in the leg. We did a separate video for that. Go around to the front. There's your deltoid. There's your pectoralis major. Pectoralis minor. Mm -hmm. Pectoralis major kind of does an opposite action to the latissimus dorsi in that it flexes, internally rotates, and adducts. So it brings your arm across to the front, okay, at the shoulder. Deltoid abducts the shoulder. Pec minor works with this big, huge muscle right here. All of this here is the serratus anterior. Serratus anterior. Serratus anterior attaches to the scapula. Pec minor attaches to the scapula. Both of them protract. Protract the scapula. So the scapula moves forward. So when the pec major brings your arm forward, the pec minor and the serratus anterior bring the scapula along with it. So this is protraction, retraction. Protraction, retraction. So pec major takes the arm and brings it forward. Pec minor, serratus anterior, grab the scapula, bring it forward. In between the ribs, Intercostals. External intercostal sitting on top of internal intercostal. External, internal. 
use to elevate and depress the ribs during breathing. Rectus abdominis. Okay, here it's exposed, here it's covered in the sheath. This is the rectus sheath. Rectus sheath, covering the rectus abdominis. Tendinous inscriptions. Give the muscle that kind of rippled, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pack look. Protects the organs, helps you do sit ups, flex the spine. Bone, no bone. No bone, superficial. Bone, deep. External, abdominal oblique. Superficial, internal, abdominal oblique, deep, deep to this. There's a third layer, the transverse abdominis, which is underneath this. We'll just look at that in a moment. Okay? So again, rectus abdominis, two halves. There's the linea alba that connects the two halves. Tendinous inscriptions. Rectus sheath covers it all. No bone, external abdominal oblique. Bone, internal abdominal oblique. Transversus abdominis. That's the third layer deep to the internal oblique. The obliques rotate the trunk. Transversus abdominis doesn't do much. It just compresses the organs. Transversus abdominis. Transversus abdominis leads to quadratus lumborum. Quadratus lumborum. It's under the kidneys in this model. Psoas major. Iliacus. Iliacus psoas major. Hip flexors. Quadratus lumborum. Elevates the hips. Hip hiker as you walk. Also stabilizes the lumbar spine. Also helps you do lateral flexion of the lumbar spine, quadratus lumborum. Diaphragm, another skeletal muscle for breathing. Huh? The nose, 